What's up? What are your favorite shows at the moment? My favorite TV shows? Uh, Game of Thrones is tremendous. Um, what am I watching right now? Uh, I watch Newsroom. I just watch Surf Premiere. The Americans is probably my favorite show on television. It's incredible. Besides Sons, of course. <laughs> Obviously, I don't need to say that. Uh, the Americans is great. I just watched The Bridge, but I, I'm really invested in The Americans. I think Game of Thrones is so great. It's just so uh, the world of it. Um, there's a lot of new stuff coming up that should be cool. You know, it's funny. I remember when we started, we went to our first FX thing, and uh, I was a huge psychotic uh, Shield fan. And I watched. And I was with Goggins and Chickless and all them, and we were like these new people coming up, and I was like, man, if we could be half the show there, if we could like have half the audience they do. And I remember them looking at us like, ah, oh, look at these new guys coming in, you know, because they were like the OGs in the network. And now, we're like the guys, so when we see all these other ones, we're like, ah, get out of here, you bastards. And so, I want to be like Sonny in Philadelphia, running forever. <laughs> So, would you say that after everything that happened this season, does Jews trust Jax? Has Jax earned his respect as a president? It's a big theme coming up. Um, you know, I think that uh, Jews finds himself in an extremely strange position. But just like anything in life, I think everybody has a breaking point. So we're going to see how the how instrumental he was in putting Clay away, and you know, make you know, fulfilling Jax's plan, kind of what that does to him, uh, psychologically. And I think it's pretty fascinating the way Kurt manipulates all the situations. And, you know, script, every single script reads like a finale. This year, because you know we're at the other, we're at the other side. You know Can you I mean? feel it coming to an end? I think when Opie, I think the Opie uh, episode kind of started that train rolling. You know what I mean? Where it was like, oh, okay, you know, we're not going to run for yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. it. It was like one of those. We're not one life to live. Mm -hmm. This is eventually going to like end. Yeah. And I think that was kind of that deal. So. It's like every script is so intense. It's so intense, and yet at the same time, the one thing that he does so well is there's humor in there. There's funny stuff that mm -hmm. kind of rears its head all the time, because in the madness and in the intensity comes this humor, which usually happens in these really dire situations. So, uh, you know, I'm really lucky as the character of Juice, because I've been able to play kind of every emotion. I've been the funny guy, I've been the sad guy, I've been, you know, the aggressive guy, and now, you know, we see this whole new uh, kind of side of him. Do you know what's going to happen to your character prior to the season, or when, you, or as, when you're turning the page, you're like, holy crap. No, Kurt is so great with, you know, giving everybody heads up and taking meetings. It kind of gives you the uh, general layout. Never the, you know, obviously not the specifics, because mm -hmm. the script is not written, but you kind of get the overall arc of what's going to go down. Um, and then for me, you know, what I was just saying is so true, you know, I love when actors say, you know, my character, it's not your character, Kirk created the character, mm -hmm. I play the character, I, you know, and uh, I've never trusted a writer or somebody as much as I trust him. Whatever he writes, he knows it, and he knows, and, and I, again, I've been super lucky because I've kind of gone all over the map with the character, so whatever he does is fantastic, so it, it's really cool, and this season is... I'm really, this is probably the most excited I am for people to see kind of uh, the trajectory of Juice and kind of the whole deal. It's, it's really cool. Can you talk about how you reacted when you found out that uh, he was going to die? Brian's one of my boys, so when I found out, when we all found out, it was, it was one of those things. Like, that's an intimate team member, you know what I mean? This was a guy that we're all there, you know, 14, 16 hours a day, every day, six months a year, and then in the off season we hang out too, so it was kind of a, it was a, you know, it was, it was that moment, like I said, where it was like, oh, okay, well, this is kind of how it goes in, you know, I'm not going to have the ball off forever, I'm going to actually have that hair, and, uh, and uh, you know, um, 
it, it was just one of those things where you kind of signifies because you get caught up, man. You don't realize we started this journey in 08, 2013. It's like you realize that things go. So uh, it's like that shield reference where they looked at us and now we're looking, you know, at the other thing. It's just time keeps moving. So I think the OP thing was uh, almost a reality check. So Theo and Eli, what is this? Is there, is there more tension? Is kind of Eli still kind of circling around? Yeah, I think that, you know, I, I love the Eli character, and I was really, I love Rockman, too, as a person. He just had a beautiful, uh, his wife, he's, uh, he just got married, his wife's pregnant. Um, he, uh, he's a great dude. Um, he, uh, we've been really lucky because I think that he's sympathetic towards Juice, um, and I think he knows maybe slightly of the struggle, you know, which was, he was, you know, kind of in season five and seen, you know, so, uh, to see kind of that stuff kind of start to get involved in the, in, in this season is, there's a lot that goes on this season, and we're like, in the middle of it, there's a lot. Do we know how many extra minute episodes are there so far? I feel like all of them are like three hours long. <laughs> I feel like everyone is like Avatar. They're, they're all very long. No, uh, I don't, I think they're all... FX man, they you know they're so great, Landgraf, because they they let us kind of get away with uh, a lot a lot more. 